Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Curtis Connor. If you're new here, welcome. If you are coming back, uh, hey, what's up? It's good to see you again. Uh, this week's video is gonna be a little different. I just gotta talk about this because this is I'm really interested in it and I think it's really cool and exciting and weird. And I wanna get to the bottom of it, okay? I'm a detective and, and I have a magnifying glass and I'm gonna figure it out. So there is a certain girl on Instagram and she goes by the name of Lil Michaela. If you don't know who Lil Michaela is, she is a girl on Instagram. She, you know, she seems like every other girl posting pics and whatnot. She's hanging out with her friends. You know, she just has all the followers in, in the world. That's not true. She has a lot of followers. You know, she just seems like a normal girl, except she's not. She's not normal. She's fake, 100%. She's, uh, obviously you can tell that she's computer generated, generated by a computer. The way I see Lil Michaela is a cool commentary on Instagram and social media as a whole. You know, like since everyone's editing their pictures and portraying things that they aren't and poking at the idea of what is real on the internet and what is fake, you know? So I think that's really cool and that is an awesome uh, way to portray that and have a commentary on it. Before, Lil Michaela's like older posts used to just be edited a tiny bit so you like people would I remember being like, I don't know if this girl is fake or not. Like it was pretty, pretty tough to tell. Now it's like they've gone fully into the like the CGI. I think it's changed because I think the people behind it have figured out what they want to do with it, and which is crazy. My, I'll get into my theory after we uh, go over some things that happened recently. But if I'm right, whoa, which I am. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd probably not. But if I'm right, Lil Michaela might be the biggest scam of mankind ever but genius we'll get into it first a little bit of recap so recently Lil Michaela's Instagram was hacked by another artificial intelligence another computer generated Instagram girl named Bermuda this Bermuda person is a conservative uh, Trump supporter so she hacked Lil Michaela's account and was saying like oh you need to start telling people the truth you're lying to people I'm gonna expose Lil Michaela and then posted all this stuff saying that Lil Michaela um, is not real, she's not human, she needs, like, we need to address this, like, come clean, Lil Michaela. <laughs> also, this was also happening on the day the Earth was, like, supposed to end, which was, I was losing my mind a bit, but we lived. So blessed. Thanks, God. <laughs> what? And then Michaela got her account back after finding out everything from Bermuda, Apparently, this is where things get fucking really, really weird. Lil Michaela mentioned this account named Brud, Brud FYI, and it goes to a business account for Brud, which is an LA-based startup, apparently, that specializes, especially specializes in artificial intelligence in media. So like using artificial intelligence to make media, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And they put out a statement saying that they were approached by a company called Kane Intelligence. And Kane Intelligence also is also a company that specializes in artificial intelligence and making like pretty much like human like robots. And they so they're saying that Kane reached out to Brud and was like, we want to make this AI robot that will tend to sick people when they're dying. They'll be like robots that like help people in their final moments, which is fucking weird, but that's cool. That's nice, you know? dying would suck but if you're dying with a robot then that's way cooler right <laughs> but apparently Brud found out that Kane was using these robots as like weird like sex robot slaves but they're a conscious being so it was pretty much like having a sex slave so they got out of their partnership with Kane and then Kane made this Bermuda person to kind of get back at little Michaela I guess and ex try to expose Lil Michaela because like she's lying to all of her followers and shit. This is so fucking weird. I don't even know why I'm talking, like saying all this out loud makes doesn't make any sense, but in my head I'm like, yeah, this is all real. So then Lil Michaela posted this thing like bashing Brud being like, why didn't you tell me all this shit about me? Like I, did I thought I was a human, but now I'm a robot. What the hell is going on? And then she's posting stuff about like, okay, I'm a robot. I'm embracing it. I want to use my robot knowledge for good and I want to uh, be a good person. I'll be a good robot. <laughs> so that's where we're at now. That was a recap, even though it took 10 years. I want to talk about my theory and what I think is really going on. This is what is really happening. 100% true. Lil Michaela 
Brud, Kane Intelligence, Bermuda. This whole thing is run by Brud. That is my theory. Brud is behind this whole thing. Um, I personally think Brud is a group of artists that is coordinating this whole storyline and these different characters to create this crazy story of artificial intelligence to peep to pretty much just entertain people and make people think about issues and just things that are going on in today's society and i will tell you why i think this is happening so then michaela started off um she had like a couple thousand followers like people were like oh this girl's weird does she look like a computer or is she a real human being and then people didn't know and then they started following her out of curiosity and then brud who made Lil Michaela and is orchestrating this whole thing. They planned this all all in advance. And they were like, okay, we're gonna reach out to this popular, to this YouTuber who's making uh, these conspiracy videos. These videos about just weird things that are happening on the internet and in real life, I guess. So they reach out to Shane Dawson and are like, okay, so we want you to talk about Lil Michaela because she's like an interesting thing. It'll fit right with your uh, conspiracy videos and this will be a partnership. You'll talk about her and make a big deal out of it, and people will get noticed. People will notice her, follow her, and associate her with you. So when crazy shit happens, like they'll ta uh, sh people will be tagging you in it. So if you're making a video, people will be like, "Oh, where's little Michaela?" And it'll be like an endless cycle of promo for each other, and which is great for a YouTuber, especially Shane. Like his channel's been going up like crazy lately, and so is little Michaela's. It's all starting to make sense. So Lil Michaela is getting like way more popular and they're like, okay, now we need to do our secret plan that will make Lil Michaela even more popular and have people talking about her even more. And what's the thing that people love most? Beef. <laughs> Instagram beef. Not the food. <laughs> beef. So we'll have her eating beef and everyone will just love it. <laughs> just kidding. Instagram beef. So they like make this fake person to hack into her account and make all these wild accusations and shit about like being a robot and everything and people be like oh my god what's going on and they're tagged their friends being like oh my god this is so weird and then the person that sees it is like oh my god this is weird oh wait who is this little michaela oh cool i'm gonna follow her right so they make this whole fake thing with bermuda and kane in intelligence and this is when they can finally start showing like brud so they make this elaborate storyline that says like kane is evil and using an artificial intelligence for uh, their conservative agenda and everything while Brud is trying to be use Lil Michaela for like activism and positive things. So Lil Michaela is a robot. She knows that and she's gonna start using that for good and she's gonna be like in embracing her the, uh, robot self while having this like sort of ally slash enemy as Bermuda. So now this Brud company now has the Instagram account Lil Michaela Bermuda and even this other dude that's fake, but he doesn't like he doesn't really fit into this story that much. But he probably will later on. I don't know what else they have planned, but who knows? Okay, so sorry to interrupt my video with more of me. I'm editing right now and I just found something like super weird and I wanna just like show you. I didn't find this before, but I found the Kane Intelligence website and it's really just weird. It's it is just some something about it seems off. Um, as you can see on the screen, like it's, it's just like that. Like who's that? It's just like a like a random stock photo of a guy. Um, it shows Bermuda there, and at the bottom it shows they have. Um, it shows that they're like endorsing Trump, and and it's just like it's kind of weird. It's just like a weird website, and you think for something that said they raise like billions of dollars and stuff, for something that legit they'd have a better website something where you can have more information about the company and its history and who works there and everything or like contact us or anything like that there's it's nothing there only thing there is a uh, twitter which they only have two tweets the facebook which isn't available and their instagram which doesn't have any posts and also i was like this is weird um, maybe I'll look it up on like uh, AngelList, which is a, a website where you can look up job openings for um, like companies like this, like tech companies and whatnot. And when I searched, I um, nothing came up for Kane Intelligence, um, nothing at all. So I, I don't think Kane exists. I don't think it's a real company. But you know, when I did search for Brud on AngelList, it came up. So Brud is a real company. 
and I'm pretty sure that they are the ones behind this fake Kane intelligence thing because I don't think it's wise for any sort of um, intelligence company to be uh, putting a big thing for Trump at the at the front page of their website, their only page on the website. Um, I don't know, super weird. And then I went to the bread, uh, so, sorry, on the bread page, it, it shows the founder, and his name is Trevor McFedries. He has a Wikipedia page, and his Wikipedia, his, he goes by Young Skeeter. So this is the guy behind Brud. Um, so this could be the guy behind Lil Michaela and everything, is this Trevor McFedries guy. Um, it doesn't say anything on this Wikipedia page about Brud or Lil Michaela or anything. It just says his music career. So he's an artist, but he hasn't really done anything since uh, 2013, 2014, because he was doing this, I think. I think this is our guy. But yeah, I just had to share what I found. Um, but yeah, back back to my video. Thanks. If you have an Instagram account with a million followers, you can make a lot of money. Like, I don't know, if you were to do a, a brand deal, a collaboration with like Prada or something. I don't know if that'll ever happen with Mo Michaela. Oh wait, it already did. Yeah, that already happened. And they kept all of it. They kept all the money, which is genius. So if I'm correct, which I think I am, like it kind of makes sense, like just a smart team of like artists and people who understand social media come together to plan all of this out just to make a lot of money through Instagram influencers. Uh, they game the system, dude. They figured it out. They don't have to be actual influencers. They just made one and we all we're all eating it up. Even you watching it, even me making this video, I'm giving them more attention. So it's genius what they're doing. Brud, if you're watching, I know you're behind this. You're a genius. Good job, guys. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to say about this whole little Michaela thing. I think I cracked the code. Brud, if you're watching this, please don't hunt me down or kill me or anything. Uh, I'm a big fan of you guys. You're geniuses. That's smart. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, peace out. <sighs> what a great YouTube video that was. Now to go do something else. Open the door. Open the door. This is Brud. Okay? Curtis. Curtis Connor, is it you? Open the door right now. If you do not open this door, we will kill you and you will be dead. Open the door. Open the door! Hey guys, probably wondering why this video is so dark. I'm actually in the trunk of a car right now. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I was kidnapped because I found out the truth about Lil Michaela. So, um, leave a comment. I'm sure this will blow over soon. But yeah, leave a comment um, if you enjoy the video and if you want me to make more like this. And don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next week, hopefully. Peace out. Jeez, the city should really fix these potholes. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.